Good afternoon, everyone. Again, happy holidays. Um, this is John Price coming at you with the review of the Muse Research Receptor. The Muse Research Receptor. Um, as you can see, I'm going through main stage. Um, this is part three or four. Um, I'm not sure exactly because I've, I've recorded a couple. But right now, I just wanted to go through some of the options that we have inside of the computer. Some great things that make the make the receptor a good multi-purpose use usage um, equipment, um, and also some um, you know just want to show you some things that I I've learned so far with it. Okay, as you can see, I'm in main stage. Okay, um, inside of main stage, the first thing I want to do is pull up the Muse receptor icon as i have it right here i have it download you will have to go to muse um, research.com to download it i click on it and then you get this little drop in okay in this drop in you have receptor jp i have it connected which i showed you in a past video just want to show you a couple things on it um direct install i don't use it i think that's something that you use if you have a older model or if you're going to do some more things i never use it but this is the install um plugins i believe um, in plugorama.com from plugorama.com okay but when you show the drive as you can see it's searching this is the internal drive and when I downloaded the, the piano that was on sale um, I got that this one right here this art art v, ver, art vista virtual grand piano 2 I was able to download that um, last week um, basically I dropped this file inside of the samples as you can see I have MK sensation neo soul keys which I'm gonna try to pick that up since it is Black Friday I'm thinking about picking that up um, instead of going with complete and save and wait that for later um, get that later but I have Spectre Sonics right here as well you just drop that in and um, it's very basic and you just do a couple of other steps and this is the hard drive for the receptor okay so that's um, one thing about it, one cool thing, it integrates with your computer. Okay, so I'm going to X out of that. The thing that everybody wants to know about is the sounds, okay, and all that stuff. So let me show you one thing here that I was talking about in the last video real quick before we move on. Okay, the MIDI capabilities. Now, you have the option to just run the receptor directly to your computer with the crossover patch cable which is that red patch cable that I showed you on past video. And then you can just use the receptor as an audio interface if you're not using tracks or anything like that. And you can just use your computer as the to control um, this, what I just pulled up earlier. Okay, but um, what I do is I'm integrating main stage with the receptor right now. My plan is to eventually move out of using main stage. Now, I know a lot of people like main stage. You can continue to use it if you would like. Um, once you get it or some people want to stay with main stage again main stage is wonderful I um I have some patches here you know that I've built um you know and I'm working with the receptor using the receptor uh, you know I have all these patches right here to the side so I mean what main stage I'm not knocking main stage or saying that it's not good and stuff like that. it's very good um, I actually um, recommend that to those who want to get a keyboard um, but want to, you know, you know, be able to be, have your keyboard mobile and be able to use it late at night and be able to do record and be able to do a whole bunch of other different things. So as you can see right here, you have the uh, main stage up. And for me, the first thing, once you get the computer and once you get it all hooked up, you have to set up the MIDI. OK, these are the two interfaces that I'm using. Okay, I have both of those routed into the receptor. So that makes sure, assures that I get MIDI signal. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just show you real quick. I'm gonna turn the receptor up. That's the receptor right there. I, mean, I have a Rhodes coming in, okay. Here's the receptor. Oh, excuse me on that. This is the receptor. You hear that? Okay, that's going in. All right, so excuse me if my quality goes out um, I'm using screen flow and I've been having problems trying to get everything worked through. So um, just wanted to let you all know that as well. So let me turn this down a little bit. Okay. And when you're using a lot of effects and stuff like that, it, I mean, let me turn this effects off. Okay. Turn that off too. 
maybe it won't be as bad on the CPU. And as you see up here, CPU, I still have about six gigs of RAM left. That's because I'm running main stage, live, and um, screen flow. So, all right. So, I don't know what I got to say all that, but all right. When I play a sound, this is the receptor. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to go over here and show you something on this side of this, the, the MIDI channel strip that I have to show you how I have the receptor set up in here. Please bear with me. Okay, as you see, I have it set up as an external instrument. You would use the receptor as the MIDI um, option. Channel one. I have a compressor, you know, selected to it because I like, you know, have my sounds compressed a little bit. So the compressor is running into a nice compressor. You can take that off. And then I also have my other patches mapped in as well. So I can. So for example, I have the strings here. I'm going to set the microphone down, and um, hopefully you can hear me. Um, so I have the strings right here. Okay. Now when I add the, I can bring in my main stage guitar sound. That, that's the main, that is the main stage guitar sound. That's another main stage guitar sound. That's another one. This is all Omnisphere patches. This is another Omnisphere patch. As you can hear, that's just like, I mean, it's wonderful. That is three patches in Omnisphere as well. So just wanted to give you a touch of that. Okay, so let me pull up the reason why we're here. All right, I'm open viewer. Okay, this is the, now another thing. When you get the product, if you get it before you, just, and before you get frustrated or anything, when you get the product, it's good to work on it at home. You know, uh, add your sounds and stuff like this because this is the unit. This is the interface. As you look, see, I have three instances of main stage, and I have two, one, two, three other instances of contact. Okay, for those that know. And then here's all the synths right here. Real basic. Okay, and all you have to do is just drag your synth in. You drag, you click on it, and you drag it in, okay? And I'm going to go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create a patch so that you can be like, oh, man, that'll be cool. And then over here in this section, you can do your effects. That's all, okay? And on, now if you go down further, um, I can't actually do it i don't know how to do that yet so forgive me you all but you can add the chronos in here too my chronos or the motif xf is a is an audio input channel um thing on the bottom so if i had three keyboards i can rock them in here and that cpu usage can go on towards the receptor and you can use you know save a lot of your cpu usage for other things okay so um that is the gist of it the gist of a receptor it's real easy this patch is stored um i'm gonna create a patch while we're on here and then i'm gonna go um just to give you an idea of the power of this product um i'm gonna show you the uh, this is my patch without main stage i'm gonna play through it and i want you to listen to the capabilities you have i'll be using my faders everything is mapped with my nano control i, I don't have a couple you know cameras to do all that stuff but I will hopefully in the future. But let's check this out and let me let you hear it. This is all the Muse Research Receptor. Famous MKS EP2.
This is the Art Vista Virtual Grand Piano. And I want you to pay a close attention here. Look at the CPU usage on each one of these patches. Wish I can zoom in and stuff, but look, the CPU is not even going up when I play it. Watch. I mean, that is beautiful. You can set this up. You don't need the Chronos. You will need nothing else. You can add your plugins. If you get tired of the sounds, you can go on plugorama.com or just look at look up information on like right now they're having all these big sales on Black Friday. You can just you can get all the stuff now for on Black Friday, and you can use this integrate this into Logic. You can integrate this into. Uh, Ableton, you can integrate this in any DAW that you have by just setting up an external MIDI channel with audio and you can use it and then you don't have to even use any of the sounds or any of your CPU any of your sounds inside internally for CPU usage. Personally I think once I learn this and learn all my sounds and get you know figure out the sounds that I like because consider we're gospel musicians and most things we do, I mean we only we, I, I don't use a lot but I like to layer them and be able to go in and out of them, you know, the sound. So um, once I get everything and figure out what I need, I, this would be wonderful. And then, you know, next year, two years down the road, I can say, oh, if I want some more, I can just add it and, and you know, add more to it. Um, so like like I said, now they have all these 50% deals off. I will shout out to PrettySimpleMusic.com. I'm probably going to support them, get some tutorials that they have, and also get uh, some of the sound samples to load into contact because it's so cheap right now because they're having 50% off. And I'm going to support my homeboy, Jamal Hartwell, gospel musicians. I'm probably going to grab the Neo Soul keys, which I don't have, um, and load this in. And, um, um, you know, wait on the complete series. I'm probably going to wait on the complete series because that's one side effect right now with the receptor. They don't have this loaded. The complete 10 is not ready for the receptor. But the complete 8 and complete 9 ultimate is accessible to place in the receptor okay and this this interface is so easy to use um you can use i typically when i go to church i set the receptor behind my compute my keyboard and i just map everything i have everything saved in here and i just can use it like a module at church so i mean and i only i well since you can put so many sounds on one patch and use your manual control. You only you only need to change the premium but once or twice. Um, I I use the same sound patch setup at church. You know, for most of the service, and then I just you know use the nano control to change my volumes and add in whatever I need to. So that's just a little setup. So all right, um, let me show you. Let's create a patch. Let me show you how easy it is to create a patch. Okay, let me show you before I do that. I'm gonna show you the B3 that's on here. It's really good. I call it B3147. Okay. And that's actually what it is. Um, it's uh, a cheap, um, a really cheap plugin, $60. Um, you can't use it on in on Mac right now for some reason. I don't know why, but I couldn't get it to work on mine. So, But I was able to plug it in, get it into the main stage. And let me let you hear a little bit, just a little bit of it. This is the, this is the organ.
Did you hear that? That is a org. That's a B three up in there, and you can change the. I mean, it's crazy because you can go in and change. I mean, these settings. I mean, you see that? See, you got all of the the Leslie's, the character, output. I mean, see this? I'm just showing y'all. I'm just. It's just. Uh, see. I gotta I gotta work on some stuff myself to learn more about it, but that organ is is just this is amazing. So um yeah. I mean it's the reason why I'm stopping because I'm just blown away about like where technology is taking us. Um again, from the perspective of a person that uses soft sense. I use soft sense and I use hardware keyboards. I mean, you could have both, and it'd be perfect. Um, you know, if you're afraid that everything's gonna stop working, you know, if you already have a hardware keyboard, it's great. Um, really, to be honest, if you have a soft synth, if you use a soft synth, um, and every, if anything goes out, you know, you just turn it off and turn it back on. Um, it's been a real occasion that you know anything will crash. Just know your product. Um, don't try to load 10 sounds and stuff like that. So, um, again, this is a great product. Um, I recommend it for anyone. Um, it's Gospel musicians can use it, and the price point is really not that bad. Okay, let's create a sound patch real quick. Bear with me. Okay, here I go. I see you, man. I see Santa Claus, yep. I don't my dog no more. He did what? He don't light up no more. Santa Claus don't light up no more. No, watch. Well, eating quiet. I'm trying to help everybody make a sound patch here. All right. And all the sounds that I'll be using, these are all the sounds that are already loaded inside of main stage. I mean, I'm sorry, inside of um, the Mies Research Receptor. So there's no extra plugins. something else on here from in, inside of UVI okay something they already give you and load it in and stuff so you can work with that you, know, you can do a multi you can do like this so okay let's do some strings you know we love our strings as gospel musicians and string let's do a legato string okay. <laughs> And as you see when I play, there's no nothing wrong with CPU, even when I'm using screen flow because everything is being used from the receptor. All right, let me get a little pad under that. Throw a pad under there. If you hear me play, that's most times you're gonna see me with a pad and using a pad and a string. All right, pad sent. I haven't went through none of these sounds, so I'm just selecting them. I'm just going to add that in there. We're fine. 
Okay, that's two. That's that's three patches. Okay, all map for the nano control. Haven't had to change the nano control. Had to do no sign it assignments or anything. Just create your new patch, and you are ready to go. And now let's add like a bell or something. I'm gonna do a bell. Let's see here, and that's gonna be pretty basic. See, and also let's do an electric piano. Okay, uh, FM piano, something like that. That's all those sounds. That is all in the Muse Receptor when you get it. That's all in the Muse Research Receptor when you get it, okay? You have a transpose option. You can do whatever you want to to it. And then once you do that, this is what I do. I go in here, hit preset. You save it. You know, you can name it. You go um, here to name it. Say rename. Hold on. Let's see. How did I do that? Embarrassing. I don't know myself. All right. So you go here. All you do, oh, I lost it. I lost it, but um, when you do, let's see, like I'm going to show you. I lost it, but I, I know what I'm doing now. So when you get on there and you click preset and save as, you set it up, whatever it is, and hit favorites. Okay, and make sure, don't don't hit new preset before saving it because it's, it's gone. But when I save it, you know, I say I can call this demo and put it in favorites i'm not going to save it because i'm trying to learn how to put all this stuff together and i want them to confuse myself so that's the gist of it man you have i mean you could if you got a show or you got something to do you can name it the names of the song name it the name of the patch and map your net the, the greatest thing about this you can map your nano control and like i have two one at the church and i don't even have to reset it and with main stage i have to reset it that's one thing that i noticed um and the price point, again, the price point is not that bad. A 16 gig of RAM, new MacBook Pro. I'm not talking about a used with with 2.9 gigahertz or 3.9 or whatever the new version is. The new version MacBook and with two two terabyte hard drive, I mean, that's, that's going to run you about $3,000. Okay, the research, the Muse Research Receptor it's not that much. So um, if anyone wants to do a demo, um, th for those that have contacted and reached, me, reached out to me to do a demo, we're definitely going to get with you. We're praying that we can do it next month, early month, or if not, then we just wait till the holidays are done and we'll get going in January. If you want me to look, you want to look at it, I'll be glad to help you with it. Um, let you demo it at service. I'll let you personally set your sounds up and demo it. And then I'll get it from you after church. So um, just let me know, um, you know, hit me up on Facebook, hit me up on YouTube, email me, um, contact me through YouTube, and then we could work with you on getting this set up. All right. If you have any questions, let me know. And I hope this helped you to understand a little bit about the Muse Research Receptor. And I will have more dem um, demos to put out and um, things that I will um so that you could check out online. All right. Thank you. And you have a great and a best day. Bye.